Hello, crafty friends. I'm trying something different today, and I'm actually doing the vertical streaming instead of the horizontal. So let's see if it works with Instagram. Let's hold on. Let me try. I haven't done this in a really long time since they started this. And I'm trying to click go live on Instagram and it's not working. Um, sorry, friends. Let's see. Who's here with me? At least I know I'm live on YouTube. Who do we have in here? Hey, Kawanda and Dee and Nanette and Vern and Custom Creations by Cassandra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And hi, Kristen and Dee and Tina. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a second Crafty Tuesday. I know it's Thursday, but um, let's see if it's live on Instagram. Let me see. I'm supposed to be live, but it doesn't look like it's showing up. Oh, I tried. I tried. I, I tried my best to try out new things. I thought, oh, I'll stream vertically. I'll do Instagram and YouTube and we'll see how it works out. Hey, Bria from Seattle, Washington. Welcome. Hi, Teresa and Lucille and Lolita. Welcome, everyone, to Crafty Tuesday. Um, I'm doing something different today because it's once you're live, let me see. If your stream is public, you'll find it at the top of your Instagram feed. It says I'm live on Instagram. I don't see our Instagram. I don't know if any of you are on Instagram, but it's not showing me live. Dang it. I hate when things don't work out when you are trying to do something new. You've been waiting for my live all day? Kawanda, welcome. I'm happy you're here. Good evening, Rosalind from California. I'm in California too. And Nikki, hi. So I'm so excited you guys are here. So normally I go live on Tuesdays and I did go live this Tuesday, but one of the things that I, well, what I wanted to do on Tuesday, I didn't get to do because I made a mistake and sent supplies that I ordered on Amazon to the wrong location. And you know what? Let me turn on my do not disturb so I don't have a phone call that shouldn't come through. Okay. Let me get my phone everybody on do not disturb, hopefully. Let me make sure sure my phone's on do not disturb because whenever it, it's not on do not disturb i get a phone call and then it, it, the sound all messes up okay the countdown was over but not seeing it on instagram that's so weird because i mean it's not letting me choose to go live so man i really apologize i was really hoping this was going to work and Streamyard tells me that i'm live on instagram but i am not all right Sorry, friends. If you were trying to see me live on Instagram, I apologize. Hopefully you came over. Anybody who was on Instagram, hopefully they come on over to YouTube. Um, two and or four, welcome. Delaine, do my hair to see this live? The net, well, I'm so glad that you're here with me. I'm glad I was able to make it tonight too. Sorry, I'm not on Instagram. I tried. That's all I can do is try my best. And for some reason, Instagram does not want me to be great, but I'm gonna still be great over here on YouTube. We're just vertical, so it's just a little bit different. That's all right. Anyway, I was trying to do that tennis shoe tumbler the other day and I ordered some supplies, accidentally sent them, sent them to a wrong location, to Washington DC where my daughter was two weeks ago. And the hotel has all of my supplies and I didn't get them. So since I wanted to do that, I just did a backup plan on Tuesday, which still was actually a good plan for Crafty Tuesday, but I really did want to try the tennis shoes. So here I am again for Crafty Tuesday slash Thursday. Now, um, I know that there have been some people that have done this. I have not watched anyone's videos yet because I've seen this project before, but I've never really seen how to do it. So in true Crafty Tuesday form, I am trying it out for the first time and we're gonna see how it goes. So I haven't even posted, did I even post? I guess I did post um, links to supplies, but maybe don't use them yet because I don't know if they work. We're gonna see, okay? Hi, Donzel. 
Welcome everybody. Hi, Pamela. If you're here for the first time, let me just give you a little refresher of Crafty Tuesday, or maybe not a refresher. I'm just going to tell y'all Crafty Tuesday slash Thursday is when I create something that I have not done in the past. And it's basically to show you the other set of crafting that has not been perfected or practiced or, or really anything because I haven't done it. And um, we try to see how it works and we see if it's a good project, if we learn something that we shouldn't do, or if maybe we learn something and it works out great and it's a, it's a fabulous project. So it can go either way. So if you're here learning or you want to learn exactly how to do something, this is probably not the best place because I don't really know how to do it. So we're gonna see. Um, oh, <laughs> she's, Katrina just joined. She said she's watching to see if I do it right while folding laundry and watching the amazing race. Well, Katrina, we're gonna see if I do it right because I was just telling them I didn't watch your video yet on how to do it because I wanted it to be true Crafty Tuesday form or it's something that I haven't done. So I saw that you've done it, but I haven't watched your video yet. So we're gonna see if I do it right. I plan to watch your video after to see if we maybe lined up and how we did it. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. So I do have, a design to amazing race i would love to go on the amazing race um definitely for sure scott and i would love to do the amazing race we used to watch it all the time and um i haven't seen it for a really long time but i it's cool that it's still on i think it's so so fun i think we would do really good the only thing that we'd be really bad at is food because i don't like spicy food and i don't i don't like to try a lot of new food so i wouldn't be good with food and um probably directions we kind of butt heads on directions so i don't know but i think overall we would be good i think he would say courtney and scott you are the first to arrive and what does they say you get to go on in the next <laughs> leg of the amazing race that's what i hope to hear but when when the kids go like when they're all gone we would love to do amazing race um you watched katrina's video last night okay i know katrina did a good job that would definitely be fun. Okay, you cheer me on. Yay. <laughs> Saving Katrina's video for when I'm recuperate, recoup, recuperating, recuperating. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys have watched. I want to try and be on there. You know, I've been on five game shows. So it's possible maybe I could get cast on The Amazing Race. That would be fabulous. All right, friends. So this is what we're working on tonight. I have printed out already my design, not necessarily a shoe I would wear, but I thought it would be really fun with the color. So I wanted a bright color shoe and that's, that's what I'm trying out. Like, let me turn on my press, make sure it's actually, what do I have it set for? 365. Perfect. In 70 seconds. Okay. So the press is on. Um, let's see. Oh, Vert, I've been on. Celebrity name game, 25 words or less. I've been on that twice. The idiot test. And it's a game that's similar to Family Feud. What is it called? America Says. So five game shows. I've never won the big prize. I have gone back a second day for 25 words or less. So I won on the first day and then I got to go back and then I didn't win on the second day, but I want to do it again. Um, game show energy. I know they, were, <laughs> they, they told me the first game show I went on, they were like, okay, look, we need you. Like, what do you say? He's like, I cast for game shows all the time. So we just need you to have that energy all the time. We need you to be smiling and I'm going to ask you to come back. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I can do it. I can show excitement all the time. So it worked out. So he's called me back for four more game shows. So if there's ever like a game show that I see that's on, I email and I'm like, hey, are you casting for that? I want on, I want to get on there. So it's very, very fun. So I'm hoping to be on another one and hopefully I get to like win something. You don't quite get these tumblers, Kristen. I mean, I don't either, but they're super cute. So I've got this, okay? And then I have some shoelaces. I just got white shoelaces. I've got some E6000, 
So I don't know if that's the right glue, but that's what I got. I thought E6000 seems good, but I got it with the precision tip. So it'll be really um, accurate on putting the little lace holes on. So let me show you this other part I got. So this is what we're going to put on the tumbler um, to make it have real eye, you know, the eyelids, eye hooks, lace hooks, I don't know, and then put the laces on. So it's gotta be fun. Your anxiety goes through the roof. My anxiety was through the roof too. When you're on those game shows, it is challenging because some stuff that you really know in real life, you totally forget because the lights are on you. There's people in the audience. It's really crazy. One, one, the, one of the times I went on with a friend and our clue, basically the name was Cinderella. That's what we had to guess. And I couldn't say Cinderella and I had to give her clues of Cinderella. So I was like, Disney princess turns into a pumpkin at midnight and glass slipper. She was like, oh, uh, uh, I, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she doesn't know Cinderella. But I mean, obviously she knew Cinderella, but she just couldn't get it in that time. And I've had situations like that as well, where I just cannot remember the words. I saw D, I saw that too, uh, that Jennifer Maker made some sneaker tumblers. And I, I haven't watched her video either. So I was like, this has to be true Crafty Tuesday. I'm gonna try it out with zero background knowledge of this i just seen i've just seen that they're cute and i'm gonna just try it out so here we go let's see shall we put oh no their camera on i think so i think i can add this other camera to the stage i want y'all to get a good view of what's going on let's see got that up there Let's see if we can add this camera to the stage. All right. Add that. I think we're good. All right. First off, what we're going to be doing, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing mine too. Um, we shall see. Everyone is making them because they're so cute. Katrina, when I saw yours, I was like, oh my gosh, I hadn't seen them for a really long time. And um, I was like, oh, I really need to make that. Okay, we're cutting our paper here. Hello, Micah. My son Micah has entered the chat. Oh, here he comes. He's always clowning, so we'll see what he's up to. This is my middle son, Micah. Subscribe to the Crafty Brick. <laughs> my biggest cheerleader. All right, we got that all cut. Oh, Kawanda, because I was trying to uh, do Instagram and YouTube tonight. So I was doing the vertical view, which I have to choose before I go live, but Instagram's not working. So I don't know. I was trying to do vertical so that my Instagram friends could watch tonight too, but they can't. So I am very sorry. And now the view is not good for YouTube. So I apologize. Mike and my friends are saying hello to you. But hopefully it won't be too bad. We're gonna, we're just gonna do our best okay we are going to try our best to make this work all right let's tape this on hopefully it's going to line up correctly and not have a seam oops no seam that's my goal. Okay. They're touching, so hopefully it turns out good. All right, let's put this tape on nice and tight. My press is heated up, so we'll go ahead and 
make our tumbler first. So we'll sublimate the tumbler first. Let's see. Let's put our tumbler into our press. Too tight. Shoot. Hold on. That's a little too tight. Okay. So we're pressing it 70 seconds on each side. Let's put this little hole in here. And so it comes with the precision tip here. So this is the jewelry and bead one. We're going to see if that one's good. I don't even really know. Like, does it, I don't even think it dries that fast. So I, we shall see. We shall see. Oops. It's a write-off short and was laughing so hard. Oh my gosh. That video cracks me up. Whenever I can get Scott to do a video with me, I love it. <laughs> it takes a lot because he's like, wait, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm like, Scott, it's going to be so much fun. And he is a finance guy. So it, it actually was really fitting. Um, and I'm like, come on, all you have to do is this. And then he gets so into it. It's, it's the best. I haven't found a video that um, has been really good for him recently. Okay. All right, now let's turn it around. And press one more time for 70 more seconds. Oh, you like my tumbler cradle? Oh, the, do you, oh, can you even see it? My Dollar Tree tumbler cradle? <laughs> this is um, a whiteboard and pool noodles. I, I've had this thing for like three years. I love it. It's the best. So Dollar Tree, go get a pool noodle and a, um, it can be a little dry erase board. It can be, um, I don't, it could really be anything. What's the, I forget words recently. I don't know what my problem is. The thing, clipboard, clipboard. You can put it on a clipboard. Just something sturdy to set it on. Oh, uh, let's see. So this thing comes with multiple precision tips. I hope it's going to work. I really do. Prayers for Nanette. Yes, definitely prayers for you, Nanette. I know you and I talked yesterday on uh, DMs. Okie dokie. Hopefully it's submitted nicely. I hope so. Let's see. Let's set it on here and see how it actually sublimated. Obviously, I can't quite do anything with it yet. It needs to cool a little bit. But let's just see how the press did. Do you hear my children there? I guess Micah must be in a very good mood. He's in messing with Kaya. And I hear her, stop, Micah, stop. We can hear you guys out here arguing. All right. Get this off. Maybe I can get my fan. What are you guys yelling about? He's trying to throw a water bottle at you? Play, we're playing Mario Kart. Oh, you are? They're playing Mario Kart. Micah must be in a great mood. Are you in a, you're playing Mario Kart right now? Okay, it looks really good, guys. Look at, look at that seam. That's a good seam. So, so far, things are looking good for me. That's a bright yellow. I really like that color. That's why I wanted to use this. I really like this color. 
Brotherly love. Yes, there's a whole lot of brotherly love going on over here at the Brickner house. But at least they're playing together, hanging out. Where's my, I think I have a fan that could actually cool this down a bit faster. If I remember where it is, I don't remember. I put things in special spots and then forget where those special spots are. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. Yeah, I don't know where my fan is. I don't know where my fan is, but so far so good on this project. I mean, we just submitted a Tumblr, <laughs> but I mean, that's, that's half the project, right? It looks really good. Oh, it's not even that hot. Okay. Okay, my friends, let's move this over right. Actually. Let's see. Let's bring it right here. A little bit better light on it. Maybe I'll take me off so you guys can see the whole thing. Lost my sound. Sorry about that because I had that on mute. Let me unmute that one. Okay, now you can hear me, right? Now I've got echoes here. Let's turn that down. Okay, can you hear now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Thumbs up? Still no sound? Okay, now you can hear me. Okay, good. When you take the other camera off, the sound goes. Okay, we're good. Okay, so... I'm trying to place a little bit of the glue on here. The only issue I seem to be having right now is that it's sliding. So let's, oops, that's not even enough glue. I'm trying to make sure I get it all around the parts that are going to touch on here. I mean, obviously I know it's not gonna dry while it's on here, but I'm hoping I'll have, it can dry enough so that we can work with it. All right. It's trying to turn it to the side so that it will actually, you have to hold it in place until it dries, Katrina. Since you're using, e hold it in place until it dries. Hmm. Maybe I should have watched your video. <laughs> I don't even know. Katrina, did you use E6000 or did you use um, um, super glue? 
I feel like turning it to the side will help it so that it's not slipping off. Oh, get a heat gun? Heat gun or glue gun? Ah, uh, she used a different, see, that's the thing. Maybe I should have watched somebody else's video. Should have watched Katrina's. All right, maybe I'll get a, a glue gun. You watched Katrina's and Jennifer's? Well, theirs are probably better because they kind of knew what they were doing. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of winging it. So, ah, I'm falling. Let me get the battery pack for my glue gun. Okay. Yeah, Jennifer did one like the day before you did. Cause you know, I was like, oh my gosh, everybody's doing these. I just gotta, I need to try it. All right, I want them, I wanna be on here too. Let's see. All right, so I used E6000. Let me just see how it's doing here. It's tacking down, so maybe I use both and then I'll be able to at least get it stuck down today. Heat gun, oh, heat gun to dry the glue. Okay. I'm going to try glue in and heat or glue, hot glue and a little of the, this glue. Because at least the hot glue will dry right away. And then this one, it will stay. Not heated yet. Okay. He going to dry the, the glue. Hit the like button, everyone. Yes, thank you, Nanette, for that reminder. Hit that like button. I think it's going to be cute. It is it's tacking. You Obviously, this just takes longer to dry, but it's tacking down. The hot glue will break off easily. It will, but I was thinking if I if I have both the hot glue and the um, E6000, because the E6000 will dry, but the hot glue will make it dry right now. You think, you think just a heat gun to heat it up or to make it dry faster? Oh, you use UV resin. Oh, see, I should have watched Katrina's video and then I would know. That's a good, good idea. So go watch Katrina's video too, if you haven't already. Cures in seconds. Oh, girl. I have, I have UV resin. Well, since Katrina's here, since Katrina's here and she suggested it, how about we just try a bit? Here's in seconds. Oh, Katrina to the rescue. Where's my little UV light? Katrina to the rescue. I should have watched her video first. Do, 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 do. But she's here to the rescue. Yes, I do have a UV light. I have a UV light and some UV resin. 
all right my girl said this is gonna work but look at that that's so cute y'all i'm so glad katrina was here because i would i mean i would have been doing it like this this would work i think it just takes longer to dry but katrina to the rescue you all right let's put a little uv resin on here but wait so you just i don't even quite understand okay so i place it on there but then how how does it get down to the uv resin let's see it is looking good so far i don't quite get how the uv resin cures under here i don't know i don't know okay now hold the light over it. Okay, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, UV resin does cure super fast. Katrina is not curing. Same way it cures under your... Oh, did you put it over the light? Or you put it over the UV resin over it? Is that what you did? Because I put it under and I'm wondering, like, how is it touching it? So, oh, because I guess the laces will cover it so you won't see it. I don't know. I like my, I like this way. You guys, it's sticking. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with this, uh, with this. I'm trying a different way. I'm trying a different way. It's okay to do. Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> what? I'm doing it, Katrina. We can do it different ways. It's working. It's working. Oh, shoot. I haven't turned it the wrong way. Dang it. Oopsie. Okay, just stick right there. Do it your way, sis. <laughs> she like, whatever. My way was so much faster. I think I just don't understand. You put it over it, Katrina, and then... I need a little bit more. See, that's why I... You know, Crafty Tuesday or Thursday... Is just trying things so you know everybody does stuff different ways and there really is no right or wrong way and i think it's nice to just try different ways so that since i didn't watch anybody else's video then it's just pure what i what you know what i thought might happen and here we are so my way might be slower for sure but it's sticking on it's sticking on let me turn it the right way try to put in the little hole opening so the light can get it I mean, really, these others aren't even falling off. They were sliding a little bit at first, but I think since I turned it to the side and let them kind of stick in place and I held it on a little bit, um, so far, so good, my friends. So far, so good. I'm going to do two more here. The only thing I don't like about E6000 is it oozes out while you're trying to, you know, work on it. Oh my gosh, I am feeling really excited about this, y'all. Really, really excited about this project. 
It's a good Crafty Tuesday project. And, ouch, it's working out. It is working out. Oh, my light might not be strong enough. Yeah, this is, this is a little baby light. Little baby light. I have a big one too. I can try that one next time. So, I mean, I do plan on doing this project again. So, next time I'll try it with the UV resin, like Katrina did. And I wonder if you guys, E6000 is super messy. It is, Kristen. I'm kind of over it. Um, for those of you that saw Jennifer's video, how did she do it? What, what uh, material did she use? Hi, Stacy. Welcome to Crafty Tuesday slash Thursday. All right, let me put this little lid on. This glue is like spilling all over the place. All right, but what I think I do want to do, because it came with these, these little tabs, I kind of want to cover the tabs. These little, not those, not that part. There's another little piece that it came with that I wanted to cover the holes. I thought that would be cute. If I can find it, it was right here. The little holes, the little tops. Jennifer used E6000, okay. So yeah, there's just multiple ways you can try things. I know I had everything. Oh, it's in the same package. There's two things in here. Resin, okay. So it looks like UV resin or um, E6000. Okay, so here's this little part. I kind of like this little part right here that I think I want on. Maybe I'll try that part with the UV resin and see. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in with that. All right, now let's plug this back in. And maybe I'll have to get my heavier UV light. All right, so Jennifer used E6000. Katrina used resin. I'm using a combo of both. And maybe, what is it that can't see? Um, it's a little, the little tab that came with them. Just this little piece so it covers up that hole. I don't know, did you put those on? Did you use those, Katrina? I saw them in there and I was like, oh, let's just see how that works. Although I guess it's probably covered up, you think? Probably covered up by the laces. Oh, you didn't put that on, okay. Obviously you don't have to put it on. Oh, the laces will cover that hole, okay. So it doesn't even really matter. Is that what you're telling me? All right, it's not sticking anyway. Okay. All right, let's see. So, it's looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. And they're staying on. So, I'm going to get my lace that I have here. And I'm going to be careful with it. Yeah, I think my UV light is definitely not strong enough. Let's see here. OMG. Okay, I'm lacing it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, you're so right, Katrina. It's silly to even put that other piece on because it definitely does cover it up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be making more of these. I can already tell. 
This is so cute. I feel like I could have even put a few more uh, lace hooks on it. Oh my gosh, I love it. The shoe, right? The shoestring is what sets it off. Oh my. Man, this is cute. I like my shoestrings to all be flat. Oh my, and this shoestring is like the perfect length. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, dang. <laughs> I was trying to be careful, but it's not dry. So, I mean, obviously, wait till it dries because I'm pulling too hard. When it does dry, it'll be much better. But for now, I'm just gonna do a light. <laughs> it's like, girl, you know I am not dry. I'm the last one you did. You're gonna need to hold me on a little bit longer. <laughs> but you get the idea. If you waited till it dried, it would be bomb. Wow. You have to stop rushing things. I know, I know. But you guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm a rusher. I have a problem, Kristen. You know, you know I do. But I want to put a little bit more glue. Dang it. I love this thing. A little bit more glue. Although really it just needs to dry. I have a rushing mentality. I will admit that. And this is not a rush project. But all the other ones held on. Katrina, I did it. Oh my gosh, now I see why you loved it so much. It's so cute. <laughs> this isn't a crafty challenge. You can take your time. I don't take my time with a lot of stuff, <laughs> Kristen. Oh my gosh. You guys, oh, it is adorable. Oh my goodness. It worked. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. So yeah, I didn't tie the lace good enough. Let me tell you how long these laces are. These laces, I feel like I went with the 30. Let me look at my, let me look at Amazon. Actually, I think, I think I put them in the description. So my description is accurate. The stuff all worked. You might want to do the UV resin, but um, I think this is going to work. The, what I did, where is my thing that I bought? My shoelaces. Oh, there they are. 30, three pair. So I got three pairs of laces and I got the 30 inch. So 30 inch laces is what I did. Then you can add names and photos. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I meant to add a name on this one. I forgot, but it's really, really, really cute. Y'all should make one of these. And that's a pretty quick project. I mean, if you wait for the glue to dry, it will take a little bit longer. But um, I mean, sublimate the tumbler and then add on the, the shoelace holes. All right, bye Katrina, thank you. I am gonna go watch yours to see, to see what, what I could do differently on mine. Cause you know, you can always take stuff that people do, add it and make yours a little bit better cause everybody thinks differently. So. Yeah, I'm going to definitely go watch yours, Katrina. You guys should go watch Katrina's too and, you know, get ideas of how you want to do yours and make it your own. Thank you, Kawanda. This one doesn't want to stay. I'm going to undo it so it can stop pulling on it because I think it's the pulling on the lace that's bugging it. I'm going to add a little bit more glue because it's like rubbing off. 
what I'm what I found is that it doesn't all lie flat. So all around this part over here, I put kind of like a big amount so that it will catch on the tumbler and then it can stay there. So I think that's the part that is catching the most. So I'm just pressing it down a little bit longer. It didn't have as much time as the other ones did. But all the other ones are staying on. I think the pulling up, the tying it, I think that was kind of what's making it not the best. They came out so nice. This is so cute. Yeah, I definitely got to go watch Katrina's video. And I want some more colors. This is going to be... Um, Another, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely going to make another one in a different color. Glue on a tumbler but would be a way to go. Like with what, Kristen? Like, do you think it might not last with the glue? Bring it out also on the toe part and add a name if you like. We'll be dining. Oh, we doing some for Mother's Day. Yeah, I want to do some for Mother's Day. These are so cute. And I like this sparkle on this tumbler. That's I got this pattern from Etsy. Thank you. Yeah, Kristen, let me know what you're thinking. If you think that the glue won't last on the tumbler. Oh, put the glue on the tumbler versus on the hardware. Oh, oh, okay. That probably would be a good idea as well. And I really don't even know that it needs the glue on this section over here because it's not touching as much. But maybe the UV resin, putting it on that whole part might be, like it might stay. Obviously it worked for Katrina, so. I don't know, I'm actually kind of surprised that they stayed in place with the E6000. That like, it, they didn't sit for that long, you know? Just from me starting the project. So, not too bad, I don't think. 55 watching, only 38 likes. Please hit the like button. Thank you, Stacy, for that reminder. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I came back to do this tonight because this was my plan on Tuesday. It didn't happen. And here we are with this beautiful tumbler. I'll be making more. I got, I got three sets of laces, so I can definitely make more. I think it helped if you are going to use the E6000, turn, do one side at a time. So lay it flat on that side so it can have you know a little bit of time to dry and then do the other side and lay it flat like that because that seems to work pretty well and the 30 inch laces seem to be a good length i am 100 happy with this project i wasn't sure how it would work but it's like even easier than i thought so i need to go watch jennifer's video i don't need to go watch katrina's video but i just kind of like trying things on my own first and see how they go, <laughs> especially with Crafty Tuesday. But this is a win. So you guys should definitely try it. Yay. Thank you guys for tuning in for a second Crafty Tuesday this week. I'm very happy that you joined me. Um, let me take this UV resin off. I think it might work with my higher UV resin. I think my UV light is a little, a little low. It works for my um, like keychains that it's shining right on the resin, but I think when it was under it, it wasn't really working that great. Woohoo! Exciting! I wish this wasn't vertical. I wish it had worked on Instagram, but oh well. We're vertically live today on YouTube. I think I prefer the horizontal on YouTube. What glue did you use for the loops? I used E6000 jewelry and bead glue. Um, Artevious. Oops, let me put this lid back on. Oh, which one? Which lid is supposed to go on here? Not that one. It came with multiple lids. I don't know. It's just oozing out right now. <laughs> It's this one, East, bead and jewelry, jewelry and bead. And it's in, there's a link in the description for it. Everything I got was on Amazon. It's the, the hooks, the shoelace, the tumbler, all of it is on Amazon. 
and it came with multiple beads or multiple precision tips. I think that's the important thing. Get the precision tip so that you have a little more control over your glue. Unless you're me and the glue is going all over the place and you can't find the lid. Then there's that. All right, I'll find it. It's got to be around here somewhere. I just used it. Oh, lid, oh, lid, where are you? It was black. All right, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see the cup on the reel shortly. I'm looking forward to you dancing around, right? You know, I'll be so excited about this cup. Oh my gosh. Yeah, check the replay, Christina. I just, it, it was super fast. I sublimated it and glued on the hooks and put the lace in. Super fast project, super cute. Easy to customize. I'm gonna add a name and I'm gonna do some different colors. So, very, very exciting. Crappy Tuesday on a Thursday, yep. Um, good night, Kawanda. Thank you for joining again tonight. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me a second night this week. Tomorrow, I have a video coming out about how to make some changes to a project. If you, um, like if you get something on Creative Fabrico or Etsy and you like most of it, but you don't like everything about it and you want to make a little change, I have a video on how you can make those changes. And that's all that's coming out right now. I've been editing a lot of videos, but um, that's all that's coming out this week. Next week is the Crafty Challenge with Shanita from Do Dream On. So don't miss that next Wednesday at 5 p.m. And then Tuesday, Kristen was right. The other day I said that it was a Dollar Tree craft, but it is a viewer's choice. So I'm gonna have to figure out how viewer's choice works. I just kind of threw it out there. I'm like, mm, let me just see. So I mean, I have to make sure I have the supplies. So I'm, I'm not quite sure. I actually ordered supplies for something Kristen wants to do. So it might be alcohol inks with mica powder. Cause I know she wanted to try that. So maybe viewer's choice is you reaching out to me and DMing me and letting me know what you'd like to see me try. And then that is my, I just choose from those. That might be a good viewer's choice because I need to make sure that I have the stuff if you guys want me to make it. So I know the, the things that Kristen, the alcohol inks I know are coming. So that, that might be it. But maybe on Tuesday, we'll see. See what you guys want to do. See if you guys want to see that. If you want to see something else, maybe if I have the materials, we can do it. But we'll try it. I have never done alcohol ink and mica powder. It's coming, the colors are cute, and I think it could be very fun because I haven't tried it. But I did look into like ratios, like how, do, how you make it. So um, we'll figure it out. Hi, Renee, I'm sorry you missed it, but welcome. It was super fun, so you have to watch the replay, but look what we made. Super cute tumbler. I know I'm not usually on here on a Thursday, so it was definitely not uh, something you might've remembered. So sorry about that, but I will be back on Tuesday. Have a good evening, Dee. Thank you for joining. I got glue on my hands. Um, all right, I think that's it, my friends. I'm gonna go, it's always like, get on here, I go make some dinner. Or unless, if Scott makes dinner, he's out tonight. He's got a work event tonight, so that means I gotta make something. But I hate cooking, and the kids know I hate cooking. So usually if dad's out for the night and he's not going to be here for dinner, it's usually egg in a basket. That's what I grew up with. It's um, cut the whole, you know, out of the bread and then put a fry, put an egg in there and fry it. And then you have the little fried egg. I know some people call it frog in a, I've heard frog in a hole or toad in a hole. I've heard bird's nest. I don't know if you guys, have, have you ever heard of that? Do you call it something else? We call it egg in a basket. That's what my mom always called it. Moonstruck eggs. Oh, I've never heard that. Kai and I were talking about it the other day and like what other people call it. So yeah, egg in a basket. That's what we're making tonight. Breakfast with dinner is always good. I love, I mean, I love breakfast food. So usually if Scott is out, it's breakfast for dinner. That's, and the kids love it because they're like, yes, dad's gone, let's have breakfast. 
I'm like, yes, that's gone. Don't have to really cook. So egg in a basket it is. But I like Moonstruck eggs too. You're having that now? <laughs> um, yeah, and then like you take the center that you took out and you, um, you toast that. So it's like egg in the basket. We always call it the cookie. So you toast the cookie. So it's like a piece of toast on the side. So, um, oh, they made in the movie Moonstruck. Oh, okay. Pancakes, bacon, and scrambled eggs. I love it, Vern. That sounds delicious. Breakfast for dinner. Good night, Kawanda. See you next week. Usually French toast. Yeah. Renee, I'm telling you. Mom's not wanting to cook. Breakfast is always a good idea. Good night, Stacy. Thanks for joining. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. I guess the kids are playing Mario Kart. And you know, really they don't like hang out a whole lot. Micah is usually gone with his friends. So it's nice. They're hanging out in Kaya's room and playing Mario Kart, super cute. So maybe I'll go play with them, even though they don't like to play with me with that because I am terrible terrible at video games like Mario Kart I try to drive and then I turn and I, I end up going backwards on the track and I'm like mom what are you doing video games are not my thing not my thing oh breakfast for dinner every Monday I like that cinnamon bread makes the best French toast it does it definitely does we don't have any cinnamon bread I would I would like that tonight now that you got me thinking about it <laughs> um Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm just chatting, just chatting about nonsense, just hanging out. Um, I'll be back next Tuesday. Viewer's choice. Y'all figure out how you want viewer's choice to work if we're gonna do the alcohol inks or something else. So you guys get to decide. Ruthless and Martha, they're all ruthless in all those games. <laughs> Dinner in the morning, breakfast at night is what I try. Dinner in the morning, I can't do that. Ugh, no. <laughs> I can do breakfast anytime. For some reason, I cannot do dinner in the morning. We do need a crafty crew Zoom. I was thinking of that actually just yesterday. I want to get through May because I have tons of stuff coming up in May and I feel like I have a lot on my mind. But I think summer, June would be really fun for a crafty, crafty crew Zoom. So I am definitely down for that. I'm going to work on it. Because I want to see you guys. So I think that'll be really fun. And I want to hear you. Because I feel like when I'm on here, I'm talking, talking, talking. And I just feel weird because I'm just talking and I don't hear anything back. So let's have a crafty Zoom in June. I'll figure out a date. And I think that'll be fun. Get our summer drinks and the summer craft. That'll be fun. Um, no, not June. I'm going on vacation. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put a poll in the Facebook group. So if you're not in the Facebook group and you want to come to the Crafty Crew Zoom, uh, you need to be in the Facebook group. I will put out a poll and see when works best for everybody. Okay. Anytime before the 12th of June. Okay. Cause I definitely want you there, Kristen. So we'll put out a, a little poll. I'll see what's what's a good time and we'll figure it out. Cause I really do want to. If one is not on Facebook, will they be invited to the Zoom crew? Um, oh, you're not even on Facebook? Yeah, I mean, DM once you're there. <laughs> yes, um, I gotta figure out how that works. I've never done this. You know, y'all just got me set up with the Facebook group. I never had a Facebook group and I've never done a Zoom with my crafty friends. So I don't know how it all works, but we're gonna figure it out, okay? Cause I want you there, D. And I'm, I mean, I can set up a Zoom. So it'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I will be back next week. Y'all have a great, great night. I'm happy you came. I know you could be doing anything else. And the fact that you're spending some of your time with me, I seriously appreciate it. Like really from the bottom of my heart, appreciate that you're here with me. Um, oh, she's Delana's doing one this weekend. Okay, I will check with her. All right, thank you guys. I'll um, have a great weekend. I will talk to you next week. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye. Let's end our stream.